I was in the Navy for 10 years and my mum was in the Sea Cadet Corps and I know that my granddad was, you know, in, in the Army for a short time. So I kind of just want to know a little bit more about where we are historically with the military. So it's something I'm excited to try and find out about. I've started with Ethel Livingston here and she is your great-grandmother. Ethel. And she married into the Picton line. Okay. But it's her father, Thomas, your great-great-grandfather that I want to I wanna really delve into and, and take you on this journey with because it's, it's he who served in the First World War. He's voluntarily joined up. It's a little bit of a grey area. He's just on the cusp of voluntary enlistment. So he has volunteered, but it's just on the cusp before conscription's introduced. So he embarked on the 7th of September, 1916. So we know that he's gone overseas, but we're trying to think where. Right. And Salonika is actually where Thomas ended up serving. Salonika, also known as Thessaloniki in Greece, if you've ever, it's right on the coast, ever heard of it before or come across no, the campaign not, in Greece? Not really, no. The campaign in Salonika was really interesting in that it came about to support Britain and France's ally, uh, Serbia. Thomas was serving with the 286th Army Troop Company and they were doing a lot of road works and working with native labour, but there was a lot of boredom and hanging around. When we look at service records, they, they, they contain a wealth of information. And in this instance, um, <clears> there are pages on like offences, for example. So maybe have a little yeah. look on that and see what you can read. So it's uh, drunk near a well boring park. The second offence is creating a disturbance. It shows you on the right-hand side the punishment that was awarded. I don't know if you can, it's, again, it's a little faint. 28 days? And that's 28 days field punishment number one. Um, he would be shackled um, by the hands and tied to a fixed object, such as like a, uh, a gun carriage. Goodness me. That would be kept up for two hours at a time, no more than two hours. And it couldn't be for more than three days out of four. Can you imagine what that was like? in front? Arsh. Well, yeah, can you imagine that now? A couple of beers? I mean, it's, yeah. it, it's of its time, it's extreme measures at a time of war to, to maintain discipline. Disease was a huge problem. I mean, disease killed more men um, in Sonica than the fighting itself. And I think there was about 160,000 cases of malaria. I have something that you might find interesting is a quote here from a soldier. Yeah. Maybe you'd like to read this here, talking about malaria in Salonika. Yeah. I think it had the reputation of being the most malarial district in Europe. Masses of mosquitoes, of course, which started about May and went on until the end of the September. And when we went there, there was no precautions. There was no mosquito netting issue. There was nothing. So troops just went down like flies. Wow. Wouldn't even want to think about that, to be honest with you. You sort of put your life on the line to do stuff like that and you're battling things like that, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah it's quite sobering really. Yeah, it is. Good. But it's... It's getting smoky in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, under well, it's an understandable reaction. It makes it all real, mate, yeah. to be honest with you, it does. Now, Thomas was entitled to the Victory Medal and the British War Medal. And you can see here that he signed for his in 1921. There's an element of pride that you kind of, you know, sort of see that and see that he sort of was part in such such a, a huge war and he's kind of got as just desserts at the end of it as well, you know. I feel quite proud to be honest with you, yeah, totally. I didn't expect uh, to learn as much and I didn't expect to have such an emotional connection with what I've actually learned. As a husband, as a father, you, you kind of think of what he went through and then also, you know, what, um, what they went through at home. It was really interesting, surprisingly, incredibly emotional. Uh, there was definitely a lot of smoke in the room. Um, but really, really good. I'm, I'm really glad and, and actually I'm really thankful 